Peter has a collection of over 25,000 photographs, and so from those photographs we selected a thousand and had them reprinted and put into these small miniature versions of his mm -hmm. large books. And this photograph here kind of gives you some idea of the scale of That's his, like his front archive. archive, archive, kind of archive. Yeah. yeah, there's some of his books up there on the shelf. Um, and we, we went through them over about a three month period. Mm -hmm. And basically we had to kind of define the parameters for the show, so we focused on the photographs that best represented Killing the Boy and the changes that it's gone through over the mm -hmm. last uh, 25 years. The albums, the way they're done, it's just much more personal. You can sit down on your own, you can share with somebody else, you know. Mm -hmm. You can pick up a few albums which people did and leave down after they went through so many come back another evening again, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a great way of doing it, yeah. From this initial selection of a thousand that are in the books and that I get, can be reviewed privately, we then selected a further 180, which are then projected in the other room as a slideshow. And what's really nice is that you have that sort of public experience because Peter and Kathleen and a whole host of volunteers have been keeping the space open. So you have in that front room there, you have the kind of public collective experience of looking at the slideshow. Mm -hmm. But then people have been coming in here and they've been taking their time going through the much broader, wider selection of photographs in here that really we figured there's hardly a person in Kiln the Boy that is not documented in here. But it's not just people, it's also events, like political events, um, births of babies, family events, 50th birthday parties. There you go, Niamh. Jesus. <laughs> that was it. Oh, I'd say there's been 20 or 30 different people who have come back, looked at a few albums, gone in and looked at the slides again, come back again. Husbands and wives, we've got daughters that have brought back mothers and fathers and likewise brought in their children to see, you know, the different uh -huh. pictures of people they know. Especially when it was so local, um, they knew somebody in it. Yeah. And yet we've had strangers here and they enjoyed the whole thing from the point of view of what happened in their own locality, it reminded them what happened mm -hmm. in different areas. So I suppose it was a different draw for different people, but it's, it's been great. The reaction has been absolutely brilliant. So when did you start taking photographs? Oh, I've taken them since I'm a child. That's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, always the camera. Always the camera. Around always the camera. Right. There was my mother used to take pictures. I suppose all right, yeah. and she had pictures, old pictures from her youth, we'd say, in her nursing days, and that my father had pictures of his father. I don't really know what. Got me interested in them because I just had the camera with me and felt I had to capture something rather than keep it in the back of my head. How should I treat him? You're welcome. How are you? How are you? Good. 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 I won that race now, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll see where you go. No one here is arguing with me, it's all fair. Put you in there, Frank. Oh, yeah. Lisa, no. Yeah. Lisa tells me it's the wrong one to stay, but that's not the one she married at all, it's the other half. Oh! I think you're going to have a picture of it. It's the other half, she says, yeah. That's good. So that field is even built on now, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah. Michael and Jacob. Yeah. Oh, national soldiers. And that picture picture can't be got now. There's a house yeah. bit in front of it and there's so much greenery you wouldn't get either of them on. I was looking at it the other day. Mm -hmm.